hi and welcome back to the channels boys and girls hope you're all well now um you might have seen this week that triumph have actually released more details on the triumph speed twin uh 1200 but also the rs they're bringing out for the 2025 year now um if you haven't seen it i'll put some photos on the screen now um, I'm just going to talk about my initial impressions, considering I'm an ex-owner of a uh, Triumph Speed Twin. My version was a late registered 2021 model, but it was a Gen 1, so it was late registered here in the UK. Um, so, yeah, I, I bought that bike purely on the classic old looks. You know, it is a retro bike. I bought it because it looked old, and but it had you know modern bits you know um so yeah see, seeing the gen 2 was obviously the evolution of it i'll put a picture of the gen 2 up um obviously people who are watching this probably know about the speed twin anyway um i had mine for two and a half years and um, but yeah the gen 2 come out uh, shortly after i bought mine because mine was one of the last uh, uh gen 1 ones because i got a good deal on it and I preferred the Gen 1 personally, but nothing wrong with the Gen 2, it's a great bike, it's better uh, in general with the brakes and front suspension, rear suspension was always exactly the same as the Gen 1, so I wouldn't, uh, I'd, if you're on the fence between Gen 1 Gen 2, it, it, it's purely looks whether you like the newer shape front forks, uh, colour schemes, but fundamentally, it's exactly the same bike. They did a few tweaks with inertia and stuff on the engine. That was about it. Um, but this 2023 bike, there's two models of the 1200. Um, now, the base model um, doesn't come with a nice um, front mud guard. It comes with a plastic one where the RS is the metal mud guard like the old one always was. Um, it's the RS has got Olin suspension where the the standard R uh, the standard uh, Speed Twin 1200 hasn't. That one has got new shocks, but um, yeah, be interested to see if it's any better than the previous two on the rear suspension. I assume it has. Um, as for everything else, yeah, it's got a few more horsepower. Um, I think it's about 105. 103 PS from top of my head from looking at the press release uh, Sorry doing this on my phone um, Then what else was there different obviously yeah the graphics on the tanks. I'm not sure about the Standard uh, 1200 with the big 1200 written on the tank. I just think that looks a bit tacky considering it's meant to be more of a retro -y type style bike um, I like the RS tank um, I think they're the same size tanks, uh, slightly differently shaped, um, but I quite like it with the RS written on it. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, Olin suspension all round, pretty good. They've still got Brembo's on the front on the RS, however, trying to put their own uh, brand. They're probably uh, another company, but they put the Triumph logo branding on the base 1200. Uh, thing for me, which I just don't see why they've done it. Um, they've tried to be more up to date and modern, but they've got rid of the twin clocks, uh, the dials. And like I said, that was the classic bit I loved. So I don't know why they've gone away from that. Um, they've gone TFT, a bit like the Trident and um, some of the other like Tiger um, 600s and things like that. Um, it's got a TFT dash. It looks a bit better than the other ones. I must admit on like looking at the screen from the pictures I've seen However, I just don't think it's in keeping for that type of bike obviously the BMW um, I think R19 stuff kind of gone that way as well. But it's singular as well the clock um, I'll put a photo on the screen now um, So you know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I get it with the phone connectivity and things like that, but just put a quad lock on your handlebars and you've got your phone connectivity if you need it anyway in your maps you don't really need need to have a anything like that um the rs is going to have a quick shifter the space 1200 isn't um 
so up and down I believe so that would be good it will um, be a bit weird because the box on the speed twins always felt a bit agricultural was that the right way to describe it but yeah I, I, I think that would make it a bit more thrilling the ride I believe the pegs are higher to accommodate the quick shifter you can't have it on the base RS because well from what I've uh, I've read it's because of that's why they've had to hire the pegs on the RS to even be able to fit it so if you want the quick shifter you're gonna have the RS but the sticking point the biggest sticking point not just the dash for me is the price I know everything's gone up but 14 and a half thousand pounds or just under in here in the UK for the RS now it's pretty well specced but I bet that's not including rad guard and things like that you'd want to spec at the dealership um i know you get aftermarket for all this stuff but that is a lot of bike for a retro bike um i think you can i think it does it come with cruise control stand it might come with cruise control stand if it doesn't it's going to be an option which is good it's one of the reasons i come away from my speed twin because i was doing some long tours i just wanted a bit more comfort some fairings and cruise control if i could have kept my old bike i would have kept my old bike but yeah i'll be interested in hopefully it'll be at some of the later shows in winter here in the uk and they usually bring the uh, newer ones along the 2025 bikes or the next year's bike sort of thing to these shows so yeah be interested because the rs is slightly higher seat height um not by much but it is so yeah it'd be interested to sit on that and see how it feels and then i'll uh yeah i might see if i can get a test ride sometime next year so yeah tell me what you guys think obviously i know a lot of my subscribers are from having the triumph speed twins so i just thought i'd put my thoughts across obviously it still looks awesome i think it's slowly but surely going away from that classic design and look but then if you want trick suspension and things like that it always was going to be and if you want all this um tft business you're always gonna have to uh suck it up i'm afraid with this newer stuff they're trying to compete against each other but it doesn't mean you got to like it so there's plenty of gen 1 and gen 2 for sale if you are on the fence of what to do but i personally would wait and see see if, what it actually rides like see if it is worth the money um i think if i was going to buy one it would have to be for the rs as i said you know quick shifter and um, trick suspension and things like that but it's a lot of money anyway as i just said tell me what you think if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one guys bye